Hi guys, Mr Kerr here again in the Mount Erin Science Labs. I'm back to do another prac for remote learning. Um, today we're going to be doing this one, 6.3 number 2, uh, precipitation reactions. So here it is in the textbook, page 256. Um, hopefully by now your teacher's been through it and or you've read the uh, Compass or Google lesson plan and you should have created a table or have access to a table that looks something like that that is going to have a list of all of the solutions that you'll be testing against each other. You should have also made a prediction whether you think there'll be a precipitation or not based on the solubility table earlier on in the book. So you make a prediction and we'll see today if these predictions come out. So today of course we're seeing if substances uh, when they're mixed together are soluble or insoluble. We call the solid that is made when two solutions are mixed together a precipitate, remember that's a solid and what we're looking for is a color change or cloudiness or floaties if you like bits and pieces that are there to show that a solid has been made and uh, you can see at the start that all these solutions will be clear and then they may uh, perhaps go cloudy or color change indicating that a solid has been formed and a precipitate has been formed so we call this a precipitation reaction so what we've got today is we've got five solutions and we're going to be testing each solution against every other. Um, we have here sodium, sorry, silver nitrate there. So hopefully you can see that in the camera. Silver nitrate. We also have sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate there. Bring that a bit closer so you can see we have sodium hydroxide we have barium nitrate and we also have copper sulfate, copper 2 sulfate and you can see that all of these solutions are clear so even though this is blue, it is totally transparent and you can see through it for the copper sulfate. So these are all solutions, meaning that they have substances dissolved in them. So there's no solids there. It's, uh, they're all dissolved. They have substances dissolved in them. They're solutions. They're clear. We're going to start with the silver nitrate. So first of all, we have silver nitrate. This one here. And the silver nitrate has been added to these four test tubes here. And again, you can see the solution there. I'll bring it right up to the camera. Is clear. It's totally clear. And what I'm going to do is add in order those other four solutions. And I'll tell you which ones are which. And we'll see what happens to the reaction. So first of all, we're going sodium carbonate. If it has gone cloudy, that might indicate a solid has been formed, a precipitate has been formed. Yep, that's looking pretty cloudy. That's looking milky yellow colour to me. I cannot see through that, so there are some solids there. Precipitation has formed. Now, I'm not going to take you through every one. I want you to do a little bit of the guesswork. I'll give you some hints along the way. But that one is definitely cloudy. I can't see through that anymore. So that one was the sodium carbonate. Next comes the sodium hydroxide. Remember, we're crossing all of these with silver nitrate. Wow, that was dramatic. You would have seen that straight away. Looks like mud. It's brown. I can't see through it. I can see particles floating in it. I'll let you decide whether you think a precipitate or a solid was formed there. So remember, we already have silver nitrate, the one I showed you at the start, in the bottom of all of these. Next comes barium nitrate. Whoops, that one went a bit quick. Let's have a look. Are there any solids there? Has it gone cloudy? Has there been a color change? To me, that looks clear as day. That was the barium nitrate and silver nitrate. And last of all, we have silver nitrate with copper sulfate. Put a bit of that in. Copper sulfate. And we can see that that is as clear as day. It's blue, but the copper sulfate was already blue. So clear as day, I can see straight through that. 
Okay, so I'm putting that one to the side now. The next set we have is sodium carbonate. Okay, sodium carbonate, and I've put sodium carbonate into these four test tubes. You can see that that is brilliantly clear. The sodium carbonate is clear. So now I'm going to add this to the remaining three solutions that we have. I don't need to add it to silver nitrate because we've already done that cross between silver nitrate and sodium carbonate already. So remember this is sodium carbonate. Now I'm crossing sodium carbonate with sodium hydroxide. Clear. Can't see anything there. Next we're crossing sodium carbonate with barium nitrate. So sodium carbonate and barium nitrate. Cloudy, white cloudy. I cannot see through that anymore. Okay, that's gone white and cloudy. So that was sodium carbonate and barium nitrate. Last of all, sodium carbonate and copper sulfate. You might have seen a significant change there. Not only did that colour become brighter, a brighter blue, I cannot see through that. That is what we call opaque. I can't see through that. Okay, so it seems like uh, something has formed there. Next set, we have the sodium hydroxide set. So here's the sodium hydroxide. Remember, I don't need to test sodium hydroxide against sodium carbonate or silver nitrate because we've already done those. So all I'll be adding it to is the barium nitrate. So here's sodium hydroxide and barium nitrate. That's interesting. I'll let you decide that one. Can you see through that? Can you see that test tube rack behind? Hmm. I can definitely see clouds and bits floating in that. Okay, it looks like solids to me. And last of all, we have sodium hydroxide and copper sulfate. Wow. Another dramatic precipitation. Hopefully you can see closely there, there are pieces floating in that. So it looks like there's pieces of blue gel floating in that. I'm not sure if that's coming through on the camera. It looks like there's pieces. It's definitely become opaque. Cannot see through that. You cannot see that test tube rack behind. So, that was sodium hydroxide and copper sulfate. Last of all, we have the remaining test to do, which is barium nitrate. Is in these test tubes here, and again, you can see that it's clear. And we are adding this to copper sulfate. I don't need to add barium to sodium hydroxide, sodium carbonate or silver nitrate. I've already done those in the previous test. So it's one more test to go. So barium nitrate and copper sulfate. Wow. That's an impressive reaction. That's a blue milky color. I cannot see through that. That's fantastic. So that con concludes the precipitation experiment. Uh, hopefully you've been able to write down those observations into your book. And hopefully that those observations match up with what you might have predicted uh, from the solubility table in the first instance. Um, you will need to go and uh, now name the precipitate if you can. That's the challenging part. What could the possible precipitate be? What could these solids that have formed be? And that's the next part of that table that you need to fill in there. So make sure you put down your observations from what you see and you fill in what that precipitate could be. Now that is definitely an advanced step. Thanks for watching today. Hopefully you're learning well at home and we'll see you pretty soon back at school. Thanks guys.